Hi friends, Dr. Lisa here, cancer and osteoporosis physical therapist. And today we are doing a TRX exercise routine. This will be a good beginner routine. We, we go over some of the basic moves that I do with clients every day for mobility, posture, strengthening, and to help create those strong, resilient bones that we're all working towards. This is an excellent tool. If you have one in your gym, I highly recommend that you review these exercises frequently so you can head into the gym and make good use of them. This is a great way to get a warm up, kind of a loosen up the joints and get the body moving prior to the rest of your workout. Or if you're a beginner, you can use this as your regular workout itself. So typically, if, and you might have these at home, but if you have them at the gym, you're going to find that they have a little bit of give to them. So you can set the level for you there. And they're going to have a clip and sort of a loose strap here. So you can press on this clip to lengthen the band or press it and raise up on the yellow strip to shorten the strap. And for what we're doing today, I have the straps at about waist level, maybe just slightly higher than my waist to do what we need to do. Okay, so I am going to start by coming out. I'm going to walk out a little bit away from the strap so that I can step out with the front leg and the front knee is going to be bent. Knee is going to be over the foot. Back leg is going to be straight pressing back. And this position is wonderful for releasing, or I don't like that term releasing actually, for just creating some length through the hip flexor in the front of the left hip. And then we're going to spread the wings into this T arm position. Now I don't quite, quite feel a stretch. So I'm just going to inchworm up here a little bit there. Nice stretch. So we're getting a stretch through the chest and shoulders. I'm lifting the heart. So we get that nice kind of front body opening position as well as opening through the front of the left hip. Then I step back, I might hold that for two breaths. The other foot comes forward and I spread the wings again and really focus on lifting the heart, feeling that stretch. Wherever you're the tightest is where you'll feel it. Could be in your shoulders, your biceps, your chest, even your upper back. So we'll alternate. So before I work out, often I will do this. This is part of my warm-up routine. On lighter days, it's just my routine. So this is the fourth repetition that we've done here. And you could do four to eight, four to 10, just to loosen up those shoulders in the upper body. And now we're going to do the same thing with the lower body, but we're going to take our arms overhead into the eye position. And if you look at my back as we lean forward and look how that opens up the posture in my upper back. So this gives a beautiful stretch to the shoulders. If you're hiking your shoulders up to your ears, relax them down away from those ears. They don't fit in there, I promise you. Good, a couple of breaths there. We step back, other foot goes forward, lean in. This is one of my favorite postural stretches. Great. One more on each side. So these are going to be excellent for you to learn, to practice, to take to your gym, turn your phone on, pull up the video, do these stretches are going to be wonderful. Okay. So here's a nice variation to get at the sides because when we're being cautious about twisting and side bending. This is adding length so we can really get that side body stretch. So I'll show you from, okay, so I'm going left foot forward to so my arms are going to come up. I'm going to drop the right arm away and I'm going to reach up and over with the left arm. So I'm trying to create space between the ribs on my left side. So we're going for length more than side bend. And that's such a yummy stretch. Then we bring both hands up. I step back. So you'll see I stretched towards the back leg. I'm going to switch. I'm going to put the right leg forward, I'm going to drop the left arm, and I'm going to stretch to the left side because that's my back leg. So going for that big reach overhead. Ah, 
I can't tell you how good that feels. Feels so good. It creates space in our rib cage and helps us to have a little more room for breathing, shoulder mobility. All right, so we've turned it around now, and now we can start to work another way to get shoulder and stretch in the back body. So leaning forward, extending the arms long, sinking the chest down, sinking the head between the upper arms, reaching the tailbone back away from the hands, and come back up. So you should feel a big stretch either wherever you're tightest, shoulders, hamstrings, upper back, wherever you're the tightest is where you're going to feel it. Just be sure you're pushing your hips behind and reaching your hands forward. Your knees may be soft. And then I'm using the, the straps as a little bit of leverage or balance. Good. Now, Speaking of balance, we're going to take it up a notch and use these straps as a way to get an excellent balance exercise in. So we're still doing brick house bones method. We're getting posture, strength, balance. Maybe not impact today, but we can absolutely get impact. Yeah, we'll do impact today. Okay, so now we're gonna go one leg, kick the other leg back, reach forward. This would be a warrior three pose in yoga. Use the straps your balance, bring the knee up to the chest so we get a little core squeeze here. Kick the leg back, arms go forward. Bring it back up, core. This is a lot of balance work on my left leg. Good, I'll put that foot down. We'll do the other side. And I would definitely recommend you give this one a try at the gym. Start working on that dynamic single leg balance. And then if this is challenging for you with enough practice, eventually you can do it without the straps. Excellent. Good. There we go. Okay, now we can start to work a little stretch for the back. So if we just lean the hips back, I'm walking my way back a little bit, extend the arms, or if your back feels tight, this is traction. So this is getting wonderful kind of decompression and traction in our low back. I'm just sitting back and hanging here with my hands. <clears throat> that is wonderful unloading for the spine. But you could also see my back was nice and straight. We're getting all this length through the spine and the shoulders also. So that's another stretch you can add. Again, it looks like this. Hips are reaching back. I'm hanging on. Long arms, long spine, creating as much length in between. And if you hit kind of a tight or sticky spot, ease up, come in a little bit, Work with your breath, because there might be a lot of stiffness in there that this will help loosen up, but it may feel a little, a little sticky in some places. Okay, next up, we can work our squat mobility. Now, if you have stiff knees and stiff hips, I often will put a chair behind for people. If you have one of these at home, at the gym, grab one of the benches or a box step up and put it behind you so that you have a target if you need it. Take your hips as wide as you need to. Use your straps as support. Press the knees out over the feet and try to sink down as low as you can go. And then just rock a little bit side to side. Now the straps are giving me a lot of support so I do not have all my weight on my body. Part of the weight is taken up in my arms. But it's a nice way to loosen up. Now. If your knees don't allow you to get all the way down, that's fine. You do you. Work into that depth. Kind of use that to help you just lean into that little bit more range each time you do it. That's a wonderful mobility drill. Now from there, you can go into TRX-assisted squats and work on our squat to stand. Now here, I cue my patients to use their legs as much as possible and the hands as little as possible. But if you haven't been able to add much weight 
on your squats or any weight, this is a great way to begin assisted squats using the straps to help you. I would work in three sets of 10 on that strength exercise to begin to get that going. Now, another one, we can move the body forward. This will be an upper body exercise. So if we have a little angle here, allow my arms to straighten fully. So even kind of broaden the shoulder blades across the back, and then I'm gonna pull the shoulder blades and pull my chest to my hands. Release back down with good control. Squeeze the shoulder blades, pull my chest to my hands. So this is a low row. We can take the palms out, elbows at shoulder height. That is a mid row. So that's going to be a little bit more difficult. And the more your feet move in, the harder it is, the more of your body weight you're having to pull. So this is more difficult than this. So start where you are. Do what works for you with this tool. I will do a complete workout with this too, but I wanted to introduce these moves first so that you can become familiar with the moves. And then when we do the full workout, it'll be much more familiar. Next, we'll do another lower body and we'll call this a step back lunge. So step back, tap the knee, bring it back up. Tap the knee and I can use my arms as assist. If I don't yet have the strength to get up from the floor, this is gonna help me get there. And this exercise is gonna help me have the ability to get up and down from the floor independently. So it's a great way to work on that leg strength. If you can't get all the way down, then a box or a pillow or a target that maybe meets you halfway, you can go halfway, eventually working to that full knee to the floor position. Notice my arms are almost extended. Toes are up on the back leg. Knee comes over the foot on the front leg. Okay, very good. Now, if we take the hands up, palms are rotated up, and we keep the elbows high, we can pull for a bicep curl. The key is we don't drop the elbows down. We keep the elbows up high, squeezing through the biceps. Again, I want you to see all these because we're going to do them in a full workout. <clears throat> and then I'm going to lengthen the straps. So I'm hitting the little clip here and just pulling down and that lengthen the straps to be I don't know, just the top of my thigh. I'm stepping back, so I'm in a plank position. Now this is gonna be a more challenging uh, exercise for some of you. Keep the elbows close to your body as you lower your chest to your hands and then push up. So this is a TRX push up. It takes a little bit more control so the straps aren't going all over the place. If you can't quite do the push-up, just do the plank. So just holding this position, leaning into my hands, is getting weight bearing through my arms so we get some good weight bearing through the upper body and it's working my core. So that is very effective also. And then lastly, last two here, we can do the letter T. So a small lean back, arms out into letter T position. Small lean back, letter T. Bring them back in, spread the wings. Back into center, spread the wings. So we're ending up in this full T position. And then we'll move into a lateral lunge. So a big step to one side, bend that knee, push back up, 
Big step to the other side. Notice this knee is straight. Those toes can come up. This knee tracks still over the foot, side to side. Again, using the assistance of the strap as necessary. These are great strength exercises. Ooh, I have a bonus one for you. I have a bonus one for anyone that wants to add a little impact to this, that wants to work on jumping. It's not quite, anyway, no matter where you are on the jumping, this is a good place to start and a great way to come into it in a little more gentle manner. So we can do our jump squats here. The arms really assist for you to get a little bit of lift. You get the point. That's a great way to safely add impact because you have some support. It's probably one of the best tools. We do a lot of jumping and impact exercises with the straps here at the clinic. Anyway, thank you for asking for this content. I'm happy to answer your questions and to provide the videos that you want. Do you know anyone else online that's doing that, that's making videos on demand for you as you ask for content? I don't know, but it's my pleasure to do it. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed already, I would be so honored if you would. This is Brick House Bones, where we use evidence-based exercise to help prevent fractures and improve our bones. I'll see you next time.